Welcome back to my channel. We're playing some more Dot Hack GU Volume 3. We won the title match. We kicked Sakaki's butt again. But we're not done yet. Daihaku's calling us. Ikolo's at home. Is in Lumina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm gonna go ahead and mute for the cutscenes. Come here. Where? This is the Sage Room. The private room of the Sage Palace Emperor. Despite everything that happened in the title match, its outcome still counts. Therefore, this room belongs to you, Haseo. You seem to be awfully cool about all this. I mean, doesn't this bother you even a little bit? I've no need for that. What do you mean, no need? If that's how you feel, then why are you even in the world? Who knows? Tell me. Terror of death. When you lose a passion that was too intense, how do you fill the void of powerlessness it leaves behind? <sighs> well, I really have no idea. Back then, I didn't even try to fill that hole. All I did was run. Back then? I think I'm better now than I used to be. But I'm still no good when it comes to thinking about voids and feelings of powerlessness and stuff like that. I guess that's why I'm always screwing up and why everyone is always getting pissed at me. But you know, this is the only way I know how to live my life. Hmm. It appears that you have found a way to fill the empty void. You think I have? I don't know. I can't really tell. What? I'll give this to you. You are most worthy of this place. You know, I don't really want the Sage Room. Hmm? See, I'm not multi-talented. I'm having enough trouble pulling Canard along as it is. I see. I suppose that, too, is a path to follow. Well, I'm going to head home. Haseo. I leave Sirius and Alcade to you. Right. Haseya, what did the Forest of Pain teach you about life? A short male. 
This is pretty courteous for one of Saku's messages. I wonder if something could have happened. Anyway, let's head to the back streets of Lumina Cloth. Saku, what did you want to talk about? Well, here's the deal. I'm here to say goodbye. Where'd this come from? You mean you're quitting the world? Yeah, I suppose that's one way of putting it. Yep, this is pretty much it for me. Oh, don't worry. Bo isn't gonna quit, so you won't have to go short on Epitaph users. Yeah, that's not what I'm worried about. I don't get it. Why are you saying you're going to quit all of a sudden? Did something happen? The reason I'm quitting is because my job is done. Your job? Yeah, that's right, my job. Face it, now that you're here, there's no need for me anymore. Wait a minute. Saku, what are you talking about? You see, I... My body only exists here in the world. And my mind only exists inside of Bo. So, you mean you don't exist in the real world? Yeah. Pretty much. Wait, so that means... Saku isn't Bo's twin sister. But is really another personality living inside of Bo? Seriously? Bo's really clumsy, right? I mean, he gets picked on because of that. In both the real world and when he's playing online. The reason I was born was because Bo was always crying in his heart. So you see, I was born to protect Bo. But now, you're the one who's protecting Bo, Haseo. And Natalie and Kuhn are both looking out for Bo, too. So, I guess this is the end of the line for me. I'll leave the rest up to you. Hey, Saku! You gotta promise me that you'll take real good care of Bo. I mean, I know he can be such a big crybaby, but he's a really good kid. Wait! Don't just decide this on your own! You've been together all this time, right? You're his big sister, aren't you? Shouldn't you take care of your little brother until the end? But Haseo, I was never supposed to exist. I'm no longer needed. Not needed? Don't be so stupid. The Master N and Bo! As long as they have you, they'll be just fine. And besides, nobody I know would be sorry to see me leave. Nobody. Nobody in the whole world. There's nobody in the whole world who'd be sad if I wasn't here! But that's not true! If you leave, Bo will... I don't care what you say to me! I said I'm going and I'm going and that's that! I'm not doing a thing you say, you stupid busybody! 
Saku! Saku is leaving. It's not right. What about Bo? I mean, he loves his big sister so much, he'll be crushed. Come on, Saku. Yeah, that's not fair in my opinion just to do that. Ooh! Yeah, I'll save them. Coronation has been postponed. Arena events have been closed down across the board. <laughs> so, you wrote that email. Who wrote it? It doesn't say. I wonder who wrote it, doesn't say. Saku, did she tell Bo that she was leaving for good? It's okay, Bo. I'll do something to fix this. Just give me a little time to talk to Saku and get her to realize what she's doing. Now he's gone in the real world. Oh. Yana's disappeared again? Yeah. Let's go to Raven's at home. Actually, no, hold on. Can we get the words for Found the Abyss? Okay. Guess we cannot get the words for Forest of Pain. Nothing new here yet, cool. My headset is not sitting right again, what the heck, dude? Why is it doing this? Keep going. Sakaki, weren't you? Sakaki's limited abilities alone are not enough to topple me from the throne of the GU. Why would you do such a thing? 
in order to move the clock forward. So what's your plan? To awaken the eight Epitaph users, I assume? That is one of my processes, yes. But the greatest concern I have for my planned success is you, Yata. You alone. Me? Is it because my avatar has not yet awakened? Only me, out of the eight Epitaph users? You're a stuck-up, know-it-all boy. Maybe so, but I'm better than the other Epitaph users. Better than Haseo. And better than you, Ovan. You say I'm lacking? Face the facts. As a dedicated player, I love the world more than anyone. What you loved was Aura. And this world. I even pained for Ida. These gods from another place that came to this world. But they wouldn't. They wouldn't return my feelings. They loved you, Ovan. Not me. You! You say I was loved? Yes. You were blessed. Blessed by Ara and Ida both. You awakened as an epitaph user and held Ida inside your body. I wasn't chosen. Even though I love them so much. No. 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 No, no, no! Pie's calling us. took back the Serpent of Lore? CC Corp's higher-ups are trying to figure out who to blame for everything that happened with Sakaki. The administrative rights for GU were up in the air, so I snatched them while I could. I understand. So what about Yada? I think I have a fix on his location. A little more? What's that? Could it be that Yada is the final epitaph user? Haseo, come with me! We're going to the deepest room in the Sigma Ethical Prodigy's Prophecy Dungeon.
It's Sigma Ethical. Let's head to where Yara is. Alrighty. We're going back to a dungeon. Yay. Fun. And it's going to be probably an easy one as well because, yes, I'm prepared for it. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> oh, well, who cares, honestly. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in it here. And I will come right back with some more. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.